Yeah, I see you up there in Vacation Bible School. Y'all are not color coordinated today. Earth tones, that looks like a party. And that looks like a prom dress there. <laughs> you want a prom? Nope. Does this look familiar at all? Does that look, have you ever seen anything that's remotely like that before? What do you think I might call this? This is a magic trick. What do you think I might call it? Do you remember what I called it yesterday? Uh, if I tell you what I call it, it kind of gives away the trick. Now, what I did in Vacation Bible School this week is I had the very first magic trick that I ever built myself. I, uh, when I first started my career in magic, being a magician, my mom took me to the magic store in Birmingham and, and bought me some magic tricks. And then I learned that I could make some, but I wasn't very good at making wooden things. And so I had a wooden box yesterday. We were talking about how God made us and uh, about how he's always improving on us. And so I showed you some improvements. Now this, I built this, this is still very old, but, it's, but I have learned a little bit of this, uh, the craftsmanship on this is a little bit better. This is a box that the uh, effect of the trick is to show it empty, or what it appears to be empty, and then close it back up and then pull a rabbit or a bird out of it. I'm so glad that I don't have rabbits and doves anymore. I enjoyed that for a time, but that was even long more. Uh, you ask me sometimes, I used to have ferrets and a possum, I had snakes, two hamsters, I had a bunch of pigeons and doves, dogs and cats, and I raised all of them because we didn't have any children. That's what I, that's, I had animals. See, animals that I missed here, I think that's about it. The little Hinchy boy, uh, I went on a revival, and that's what happened. I would go on a revival, I used to preach a lot of revivals travel all over the country and preach revivals. And people would find out that I had these strange pets and I had a zoo at home in Arkansas. And they'd say, oh, we, got, we have an animal. <laughs> and so Terry would say, what did you bring home today? So I, I woke up in the middle of the night, I came back from uh, about out in West Arkansas and someone had given me a ferret named Scrapper. And he was old and ornery and, uh, and he wasn't, didn't behave very well. And, and so uh, the next morning, he got away. He was in the house, but I couldn't find him. So one of the little neighborhood boys came by and said, well, we were just tearing up dock, as my mom would say. We were looking everywhere for Scrapper. And uh, I didn't know anything at all about ferrets. A ferret kind of looks like a weasel. And we couldn't find Scrapper. So a little hinchy boy came by and said, what are y'all doing? I said, we're looking for our ferret looking for scrap. He said, okay. And so he said, I'll help you. So he starts looking underneath the dresser and everything, looking at it. And all of a sudden, I heard this little hinchy boy say, it's a rat! <laughs> you found, and you found a scrap. It's a rat! I do have uh, some old grainy video of Carice playing with Ricky and Marvin, who were two of my other ferrets. And that, that's, a, that's a hoop there. She, she wasn't afraid of them at all, unless they crawled up her leg when she wasn't looking. So I'm glad I don't have birds and, uh, uh, and uh, cats and dogs and rats anymore. Let me show you this. This does have a latch on it too, but I didn't really need it because I really made it. It's pretty well made. The only thing is, is that it doesn't have the wonderful paintings on it that Miss Linda Cock painted for me on that old box that made it actually presentable. Can you see that? Let me point this toward the camera. Can you see that out there in Radio Land? Avery, you see that? She's smiling because she knows the trick. She, she wants to know what the trick is. And you, you say, well, look here. You can't see anything in there, and it just looks like it's empty. And I'm going to put the latch back. We talked about this uh, yesterday, about God created things. And many of the things in the world he created out of nothing. Now I'm going to raise the lid right here. It looks like
thought he was empty. You know, when God made us, He didn't make people out of nothing. He took some things that He had already made, and He put us together and fashioned us. God created us. He made us. But He's always working on us. He's always working on us, making us better, making improvements. And the Bible says one day He's going to take us to heaven, and He's going to kind of like finish the job there. I am a... I'm glad that this actually, and, and it's dusty too, because I haven't used it in a long time. But God made us. As a matter of fact, the Bible describes us as the best thing God ever made. And He doesn't want us to, you know, He said, well, God made me this way. Well, God starts with something. You see, when He started with Adam, Adam was just made out of clay or earth, dirt. He says, I'm going to, I want Adam to be better than dirt. And so he began the process. Now, Adam made mistakes. He made some wrong choices, made bad decisions. But God always loved him, and God always blessed him. He lived a long time. Adam lived to be 930 years old. It makes my back hurt just thinking about it. God did more than just decorate us, though. Now, this is, shall I tell them what, the, what to call it? It's a mirror box. So and that kind of gives away secret. If you want to come look at this after Children's Church, you're welcome to see that. And the carpentry is a little bit better, but again, I'm not as skilled as Miss Linda was for decorating. I hope that you'll always give God permission to change your life, to make you better, to make you stronger, to help you to be good and kind and true and faithful. All the good things that a, per a good person should be. God wants to empower you to be the very best you you can be. He has a plan for your life. There's a kind of an idea of the way He wants you to be. You should be asking God. Don't just say, I want to be what I want to be. I want to do what I want to do. Say, God, I want you to show me what and who you want me to be. All right? Okay, thank you very much. You can go back and sit with your folks again. We'll sing some more.